In this tutorial, we are going to practice adding and subtracting negative and positive fractions together. And the first thing that we are going to do is to identify the value of each one of our fractions. The first term is a negative term. The second term is also a negative term. And the third term is a positive term. And remember, we can add values together that share the same sign. So we are going to start by finding the sum of negative 5 and 1 half and negative 3 quarters. So the first thing that I'm going to do is rewrite this mixed number as an improper fraction. So instead of negative 5 and 1 half, let's express this as negative 11 halves. And then we are going to add negative 11 halves to negative 3 quarters. The next thing that we have to do is write both of these fractions with a common denominator. So we are going to change the denominators to the number 4. Because 4 is the lowest common denominator of 2 and 4. So that means we had to double this denominator, so we double this numerator to get a 22. And this denominator did not change, so we keep the numerator the same. So now we can combine negative 22 quarters with negative 3 quarters for a total of negative 25 quarters. Now we have to take negative 25 quarters and we have to add that to 2 and 3 quarters. Let's express positive 2 and 3 quarters as an improper fraction. And that would be expressed as positive 11 quarters. Because these two terms have different signs, we have to find the difference between these two fractions. And just like addition, when you subtract, you have to make sure that you have a common denominator. And in this situation, we already have a common denominator, so we can keep those denominators as they are. So let's just take 25 and 11 and subtract those two values together. And that would give us a total of 14 quarters. And this 14 quarters is going to be a negative answer because we had more negatives than we did positives in this situation. So the answer ends up being negative 14 quarters. But now we have to change this back into a mixed number. So let's take 14 and divide that by 4. Some people can do this step mentally, but I'm just going to work it out. And 4 goes into 14 three times, which is a total of 12. And that leaves us with 2. So we would say that we have 3 and 2 quarters remaining. And we can simplify 3 and 2 fourths as 3 and 1 half. And we must not forget that this value is a negative value. Because when we combined negative 25 quarters to positive 11 quarters, we had more negative quarters. And you always have to use the sign of the value that has a greater absolute value. Now let's try another example. Now notice that this first term starts off with a minus and then a negative. And when you see two consecutive negatives, we have to remember that we have to consider that number a positive value. So we are going to consider 3 and 3 quarters as a positive value. We are going to look at 2 thirds as a negative value. And we are going to view 2 and 3 quarters, of course, as a positive value. So let's start by combining our positive values together. So we have 3 and 3 fourths. We have to add that to 2 and 3 quarters. Now if we express each one of these as improper fractions, this one right here would be expressed as 15 quarters. And 2 and 3 quarters would be expressed as 11 quarters. And because they're both positive, that means when we combine them, the result will be positive. 
15 quarters and 11 quarters is a result of 26 quarters. Now we have to take 26 quarters and we have to subtract that with negative 2 thirds. Because remember, when you have signs that are different, you have to find the difference. So let's find a common denominator of 4 and 3. And that common denominator would be 12. And this denominator increased by a factor of 3. So the numerator must increase by a factor of 3 as well. And that is going to give us a result of 78. And for this denominator here, it increased by a factor of 4. So we have to increase this numerator by a factor of 4, which would give us a numerator of 8. And because the signs are different, we have to find the difference between the two values. So let's take... 78 and subtract 8 from it. 78 minus 8 would give us 70. And the denominator stays the same. And both of these numbers here are even, so we can reduce by a factor of 2. So if we cut the 70 in half and the 12 in half, that would give us 35 over 6. And we cannot simplify this any further. So next we have to take the numerator and divide it by the denominator. And 35 divided by 6 gives us a result of 5 wholes and a remainder of 5 over 6. And we have to make sure that we have the correct sign here. When we combine this positive value with this negative value, we actually had to subtract them. and the 78 over 12 is a greater absolute value than this negative value, so our answer has to be a positive value. So the result is positive 5 and 5 6. So those were a couple of examples of what you can do when you have to add and subtract negative and positive fractions.